Hello everyone, it's me, Blader Dragon Sonic, back again with season eight of the Formula E Monopoly Championship. It feels so weird doing this as the year is about to come to an end. And on the new device, we've moved to Apple's iOS. But even with all that said, let's head to the grid for the Shanghai E Prix. And it's a wet affair. Blade Dragon Sonic on pole with Ravo in second, then El Carlos and Abamnes and Mechanovic in fifth. Then Milestone, Catfish, and UK Ball in eighth, then Dash Sanchez, Jake Gallagher, and Medesis. Hamming the Wawi's up next with Yusuf in 13th, and Marcus Nelson, his teammate, alongside Ben Gamercat, Alan Lee, Debris on his return, and Piki Skeller in 18th, then Batuko. Aldridge, the trolley of Polarock, and in last place, not Lewis Hamilton in the five. Well, it's a brand new era for the championship, finally. High definition, race wing plays as all five lights go on. And we go green for season eight. And that's an amazing start from the two leaders. Raymo looking as if he's got a better. Uh, second phase of the launch, then Blue Dragon Sonic coming through the first turn, and he's taking the lead in that green Envision car. Up into first place goes Raybo, but his teammate and it has almost got up into second place there. Blue Dragon Sonic is holding him off. Miles Stone getting up into fourth place. Amazing stop from the second Nissan driver in the 95. He must have been a Cars fan, the film. Uh, Debris on his return with a five second time penalty for causing a collision. The boys at the Cheeto definitely won't be happy with that one. But out in front, it's Raver who leads with Blade of Dragons on like the six time champion in second, and then Raver's teammate, Ina Bamis, in third. As we come through the snailies, snail over as Mechanovic and Catfish are both out. And that seems to be UK Ball who's been involved in that as well. Yes, he has. And it's a safety car on the first lap of this new generation. And that is what no team has expected to see today. I know Bowness with a five second time policy for bumping into Blade of Dragon Sonic at the hairpin that bookends the track. As after that, you've got the two technical. Or turns that we call penultimate corners, but really it's just that kick left as we begin lap two of 19. And we're under safety car conditions. Jaguar and HWA Race Lab with their brand new livery have lost one of their drivers. I'd also like to note that this is going to be uh, the first season that I'm going to be editing a lot. So, whereas before you used to see multiple. Races released in the same day to the point where Mexico in season seven, which was race five, was released after race seven. Weird how things work, right? Sanchez has found himself up into sixth place. Yes, he he's technically made no overtakes and has just benefited from that crash, but it's still something to note as Audi has had. Really, it's horrid past few seasons. They were once race winners in this championship. They're not anymore, sadly. But of course, that could all change. This is a very long season this time, compared to the last time where there was just 10 races. So, of course, Audi could improve. And Debris could come to grips with the new Gen 3. Lap 2 of 19 then. And not Lewis Hamilton, the only driver to start on the intermediates. He actually got a very good launch. Uh, there might actually be replays here and there. It would just be cutting in and there would be no commentary for any of it. It'd just be muted and we'd have Drive the Future play over it. The Raver technically has the fastest lap of the pre. Everyone's caught up to the back of the safety car, but that number seven from Italy 
you know, very talented driver behind the wheel, was a championship contender, and you never know, could continue to be a championship contender. One for lap three then. Uh, finally, the grid box has actually got the names of the teams on them, which is very help helpful. Lap cars may now overtake the safety car, but there are none of those. This means we will get back racing on the fourth lap of 19 with 15 laps to go. I don't know what to say about the new graphic set that we've got for this season. We're actually going back to one of the older ones because the one that we had in season seven, and I believe it actually remains the same for season six, it was, um, it had style, but it wasn't exactly pretty. This one removes quite a bit of the style just so that it looks good. As for the, as for the drivers right now, uh, how many is that? Four teams are running two by two. You've got Mahindra, who are running 11th and 12th. Renault, who are behind them. Aguirre, who are ahead of them. And DS Cheetah. They're also behind them. Actually, Cloudy Sport. Uh, uh, Dan Sanchez in the 72. We're on board with him right now. With what is technically an Alonso helmet. A Blade Dragon Sonic, we've just got news that he's going to be interchanging helmets as he was in previous seasons, but like with no, no care of like if they were like similar or anything. Because next time out, he's going to be running with Boss Justine's helmet. Maybe that could give him some of the audacious uh, races that Ross had in 2022, or some of the more boring races he's had that 23. Only time will tell. The same will be said in case we get a new champion. On board with Gallagher in the 24, uh, nearest driver, I believe, of all the drivers in this championship, uh, safety car is coming into the pits at the end of that three. We'll get back racing on that four. Uh, Wave us let the safety car peel into the pits then. He's got the choice of either going for it or just holding up everyone. He's definitely accelerating there. And we go green again while it's still raining here in the high. And Patuko oh, getting very close with Polarak, who sends it down the inside on Zabri. He just doesn't have the space to do it there. And as they finally begin their fourth lap of 19, it's always an amazing fight. For no points or anything, just for position in the lower midfield, because these are guys who need to get past each other to get positions. Not as Hamilton, however, uh, finds himself up into 15th place. Those intermediate tyres are definitely helping him in these conditions. It might actually be intermediate tyre time. As Polarox has been given a five second time penalty for causing a collision with Debris. All right, that's. Something not many people may have expected, but it falls down to us. At 17th, he's finding Aldridge currently. As they come into the snailiest snail you've ever snailed in a race car ever. Certainly, even with these Gen 3s. Gen Sonic just trying to close in on Ravo, not that close. We're about to start lap 15. We might actually get a new boss lap the pre here by one of the top drivers. Yes, Blade Dragon Sonic saying it now. Oh, Carlos, we're setting out a 122.966. As Stone finding himself up into third place. Up into third goes Stone. It wouldn't have really mattered if, if we was just going for the position because, well, Batman has a five second time penalty. Raven's setting the boss's first sector of anybody. And Blade of Dragon Sonic has gone past 
the Envision Driver! Into the lead goes the 44 of Bladed Dragon Sonic, looking back with that Nissan now at Ravo, who is just, who's actually dropped off there. Not as Hamilton further down the order, he sent it down the inside on Sierra, as you've just seen that, and up into 13th place he goes, but he's just been sent on again. It's just that Renault is basically the exact same when it comes to the powertrain as the DS the Cheetah. There are only minor differences in the chassis because this is almost a spec series. It's all about the powertrain. And that's the cable who's found himself back up in sixth place, sliding across the grass, but he's got a bit of damage, it seems. It seems. We're on to lap 6 of 19. Milestone with a new first lap of the E3 at 122.516. And the Nissans are going rapidly. But Ravo's caught back up to Blade Dragon Sonic. It just seemed like the way Play Dragon Sonic got past that envision. He did send it up the inside, alright. Maybe a bit too much of a send. As Ravo does the exact same thing to take the lead on lap 6. At turn six, amazing stuff from both drivers to keep it on the track because that was one devious send from the Envision driver. Amazing stuff from the number seven to get back up into P1. And he sets the fastest second sector with it. I just want to touch on the graphics it's that we've got for this season. It's amazing how much we've improved in just a few days, really. Because I'm recording this about a week after season, season 7 ended. You're going to be seeing this in 24, I believe. I don't know. So, uh, it's just that happened. Everyone goes off. Track limits might as well not exist there. Uh, UK ball in 6th place. He's not at all closing in on El Carlos. In fifth, Ravo set the fastest lap of the E3 at 121 point something. You saw it on the screen. I missed it. Medusa setting it down the inside on Gallagher. Gallagher, he had to leave the space there. But Medusa's just kind of robbed him of all of it to take that eighth position there. But he does have that position, so he's not complaining. Gallagher's going to have to try and fight for all it's worth, but he's in an agouri sandwich. Down the inside at turn one, he goes... But he's just had the door closed on him. And the wall we might even get by in the 71. Ah, he's just been closed off by that Faraday future dragon car. Debris down in 19th on board with him, the returning number 16 driver. It's great to see an old face like him return as Gallagher's been given the fight in the time party for causing a collision with Medetus. He's got himself back up into 8th place on the road. But because of that penalty, he's going to have to drop down to 13th. If it finishes exactly as is. Blade Dragon Sonic, he's gonna try and send it down the inside at the penultimate turn. He sent it far, he sent it a bit too hard, but he's got the lead. They're side by side coming into the final turn now. As I believe, yes, they do peel into the pits. And this is for intermediate tires. I would not go on to eat intermediates. I would just wait until the track fully dries up. But the full wet tires are quite the pain, but because of this, Blaze Dragon Sonic, you're going to see him, he's come out of the pits now, he's he's going to keep the lead here, that's not what I expected, I, I expected him to drop down the order, but no, but someone who's going to benefit from this is not Lewis Hamilton, he started on the internet, he's going to jump up the order, possibly even to P7, let's see, he's up into 8, and he's into 7th place now, Sanchez still in the pits, and a curio double stacking, and that's a slow stop. They're having to wait for one of the drivers to come through. And if that was a slow stop for Medesis, Nawal is going to have such a worse time out there. Medesis is coming out in ninth place, and not much that actually changed for him. But not Lewis Hamilton with a strategy call off the season already. On board with Ravo, he's, he's down on Blade of Dragons for like 1.15 seconds. That's going to be insurmountable unless something happens or you just find some more pace. 
Envision Call. Uh, Polarock finds himself down in last place now. Uh, for truly Grand Prix in number 27. And yeah, it's at this point in the video where I have to say the funny YouTuber thing. Only 1% of the people watching my videos are actually subscribed. So if you subscribe, that'll be nice. If you don't, I will become Snipe Wolf and come to your house. Okay. I won't do that. I guess we could blame on the poster or something. I don't know. But on to lap 9 of 19 we go then. 10 laps to go. Uh, Ray was actually, he was in that uh, one second bubble. That would be good enough for him to get DRS when it became dry, but becomes dry. Uh, I am losing my English. I'm becoming Charles Leclerc. Uh, Yusuf in 11th place. Well, Mahindra Racing in the 70th row. Opposing his teammates. 13. They do look very similar because of the font that Yusuf turns with. You know, things happen. On board with said number 13 now, and he's running quite a bit of a lonely race. He's got uh, in front and behind him. And the same could be said for Polarock. However, he does seem to be chased by the leaders at this point. Because if you take a look at the mini map, um, Blade of Dragon Sonic and crew are about as straight and two turns behind. The trolley of Polar Rock. Ravos is just doing his best to try and close in on Blade Dragon Sonic. El Carlos is doing a magnificent job in third. Blade Dragon Sonic with a new fossil lap. He make that El Carlos is a 121.066. And he's five seconds ahead of the other Nissan of Milestone. And then comes Inet Famous with a five second time penalty. And U Cable, who's actually not that far behind. He's about. At uh, nine tenths of a second behind the envision of Ionet Babinus. Meanwhile, Milestone in fourth place is just six tenths of a second ahead of the envision. So that's about a second and a half separating fourth from sixth. Meanwhile, not Lewis Hamilton, a man who was in that kind of machinery before, but not anymore. Um, he finds himself in seventh place. An amazing race. In season eight for him, or maybe just the one off. We'll only know come season's end. On board with Dave Riso, he's found himself in 15th place after all the pit stop shenanigans with nine to go. And yeah, he's just chasing Batugo currently, and not much else. Polarite's the whole minute behind uh, the rest of the leaders currently as Blaze Bang's on a thing, bus slap. Of the E pre at 121.016. And we've got eight laps to go. So let's take a look at the middle of the field currently. That's it's occupied by Gallagher in the 24. Uh, Jay Gallagher uh, last season had his debut and it was a very good debut season. Uh, all things are uh, taken into account because. Season 7 wasn't actually meant to happen. It was never envisioned by me. It was just we had spare time. We could fit in a 10 race season. Because I thought 2024 was when a game was going to have a massive revamp. Probably won't. Mono 2024 will probably be in like 20, uh, 20 to 2021. The one. There probably won't be that much of a difference between games, so it might not even be documented as a thing. Uh, Alan Lee in the 98 for Renault Edams. Uh, Renault Sports, sorry, I, I just remember the championship winning team and just thought they were the same thing. <laughs> Sadly, they're not. Uh, he's done in 18th place, his teammates up in 12th as we begin lap 12. Um, Sierra. Is quite a ways back from Yusuf, so he's really just defending from Aldridge currently. Uh, Ravo in seventh place, finding uh, Ravo in the number seven. Sorry, he's in second place. Uh, he's 
1.3 seconds away from race three to Blood of Dragon Sonic. So. There's actually not too much action going on out there. Like, even the midfield, they've begun, they've begun to spread out, but just now, Polarat's actually just half a straight behind. He's half a straight ahead of the race leaders currently, is Polarat. That's absolutely shocking, because with... Basically, six laps to go. Blades Running Sonics coming through the final turn right now. We've got six to go. And 1.10 seconds back. And that last lap time was a 1.22. They are 12 sec They were 12 seconds ahead when they both crossed the line. And he's just closing in his Blade Dragon The only thing I can really say to this truly driver and the rest of the guys is they are going to be caught whether they like it or not. Ionet Babness in the number six has caught Milestone in the 95. He's right behind him. Almost looked like he found a way to get past the Nissan. It almost looked like he had a gap. UK have also decided to join in on the action. El Colos with a track limits violation warning. And that's a faster sector for UK ball coming through the second. As Blade is running Sonic is basically right behind uh, Polarock currently. I'm just saying this because this would, <coughs> this would mean that once again, in, here in Shanghai, we have lapped cars, which, you know, in most motor racing series is nothing new. But here it just shows the absolute domination of some power units. It's become dry. It's become dry. Okay, that's something new. Drivers are coming into the pits now for new tyres. Blade Dragon Sonic coming out on the softs. Uh, El Carlos might... No, he does not jump. He decided to come out on the mediums. The slower compound of tyres... There's five more laps. That just makes no sense. I have Bamness is on the hard tires, which makes even less sense. New cables on the mediums, and Milestone is on the softs. The two Nissans and El Carlos are all on the racing tire for the last five laps of this E3 as the final little puddles of rain are being cleared up. Polar Rock has been lapped and he's going very slow compared to his competitors. Uh, not Lewis Hamilton coming in for his first pit stop. Sanchez, as with everyone else behind him, coming in for his second. And this probably won't be that grandstand finish everyone was hoping for when they heard that season eight was gonna actually be a thing in 2023. DRS there for Boy the Dragon Sonic wide open with Marcus Nelson being lapped and oh that's a bit of dust coming off or from the back of the Mahindra and the same could be said for our colors that's a new fastest third sector and that's a whole two seconds to the thousandth of a second faster than what we were doing in the wet genuine track evolution and flying out it helps a lot. Play Dragon Sonic doing a new fastest first sector. And it's genuinely amazing to see Milestone sets a new fastest first sector as he's been overtaken by U Cable. He got ahead of the history of Woody Driver. He didn't see it, but he's been passed again. But that 95 has been driven back to his starting place of six. Now, as that's Polar Rock, I want to say. Yes, that is Polar Rock. And oh, almost a bit of contact between UK Ball and Milestone. That would, have not, that would not have been a Milestone moment 
from there. <laughs> Take that so as you will. As one lap. We're gonna be on lap 16 of 19 very soon. On lap 16 now, Blade Dragon Sonic with new fast lap of the three, taken by El Carlos. It's a 118.449. Oh, Carlos throughout the C3 has actually been consistently the fastest driver with the most times actually holding the fastest lap of the C3. It's just been held up where it actually masses in the corners by the man ahead of him, Rainbow. But if he can get past the envision, if he can get past the envision driver, there's no telling what more he can do. In that Jaguar, and in fact, he's right behind the Envision right now. Uh, uh, the three drivers behind him in fourth, fifth, and sixth aren't actually too close anymore. Everyone's just trying to lap more cars in these closing stages of the pre. Uh, Marcus Nelson down in 19th place, we're seeing him come through the snaily corners. Is that in real life or banks? But you know, take what you will. Uh, play Dragon Sonic now coming into the final turn to start lap 17 of 19. But it's still recording. I don't know what that was. On board with not Lewis Hamilton in seventh place, up ahead, milestone gone past UK ball there. But they're side by side. No, that's not side by side, that's UK ball side by side with a back marker. And that explains how milestone got past such a formidable opponent. There, as Rave has been given a first in time party for colliding with the uh dragon of. Gallagher, who's going quite slowly, Stone's been giving it flashing time policy for colliding with uh, the Gary car. Uh, that seems to be a Medesis. No, that's not. That's Mohammed Nawawi in 16th place. And this is why the blue flags are so important. On board with Blade of Heaven Sonic, who's on 66% tire wear. He's going to start seeing blisters. He's probably already experiencing a drop off in group. And it has been for the past few laps. One to the penultimate lap, then. Lap 18 of 19. Rainbow's sending it on a back marker as he's closing up to about eight tenths of a second there. It might, it might just open up a bit. More Sanchez has been lapsed, and that is probably the last car that anyone's going to lap today. Uh, Polo is actually quite a ways behind the rest of his pack. On board with El Carlos in the number 12 for Jaguar Racing. He's guaranteed a second place here. Alan Lee's been given a time penalty for causing a collision. That is with the Aguri of Nawali ahead of him. There have been so many five second time penalties he's handed out today. It might as well just be the five second time penalty race. But we've had more in a single race though. <clears throat> so coming down into the penultimate head. With by the Dragon Sonic. And he's just got one more lap to go. He doesn't even need to fend off Bravo here. He can leave him to get ahead or let old Carlos get past him. Doesn't matter because currently, as it stands, he's going to be ahead. But Dash Sanchez has dropped down to ninth position. Hard times were almost definitely the wrong call. I'll be messing up with a. Well, on the head, on the nose strategy. Plus his first sector for Blade of Dragon Sonic there. Now this is a very odd decision for Mahindra to, to try and go for because there is no point if they 
he didn't do it, no points if they did do it. Arnett Bagnus coming through some more laps, cars, not less Hamilton, we were just taking a look with him. It's, oh, that's a cent and a half from Milestone, isn't it? Coming into the penultimate turn then, Blade of Dragon Sonic, the man who started on pole, through every condition, coming through the final turn, Blade of Dragon Sonic wins the Shanghai e Prix and starts Season 8 with a bang and the fastest lap of 118.133 and El Carlos can't even take that one away from him and El Carlos will be second, Raver's gonna be third uh, UK Ball takes fourth place, Island Bamas will be fifth, Miles Owen will be sixth and not Lewis Hamilton will take seventh with Medesis Sanchez and Yusuf behind him. And the senior podium then. Lady Dragon Sonic wins the first race of season eight with El Carlos in second and Ravo in third place. Let's take a look at all of the helmets now as we come across the podium to see it. So as previously mentioned, Blade Dragon Sonic, a perfect weekend for him, 26 points for so winning the race and with fast clap. Then comes El Carlos inheriting second place because of the man behind him, Ravo's five second penalty. Then in fourth place we have UK Ball, then fifth is Ironet Badness, then Milestone, not less Hamilton, finally coming good for Tachita, then Medesis, Dash Sanchez, and Yusuf rounding out the point scorers. Your long scorers were Pisciata, Jay Gallagher, Gamercat, Debri, Aldred, Mohamed Awawi, Tuko, Alan Lee, Tolerock, and Marcus Nelson. And your non finishers were the Malaysian Catfish and the Turkish Mechanic. In the driver standings, it actually is just the exact same as your finishing order here, so it'll only actually change next time out. Uh, in the constructor standings, Nissan Enams lead the way on 34 points, then comes Envision on 25. Then it's Jaguar Racing on 18 points, HWA Race Lab on 12, and then it's DS Tachita on 6 points. Team Aguirre is up next on 4 points, then Upshake Loud Sport on 2, Mindus on 1 point, meanwhile, Trulli. Reno and Dragon are still yet to score. We'll see you guys next time for the Marina Bay E-Prix.